guys. I thought I filmed this before, evidently I didn't, so you guys are going to see the new bottles for the part one of using LB's barbecue sauce. And yes, I bought some more. So my first bottle was given to me for free. And I tried it. It was freaking delicious. Oh, let me give you guys a better angle. One second. Okay, there we go. Oh, let me get that other bottle. Here's the original bottle of LB barbecue sauce, sweet and spicy, the original flavor. They're all sweet and spicy, but there's different degrees of heat. So we got another original that we purchased. All right, pop the top on this one. I stopped at a uh, family member's establishment, which I got a video coming for that. And I had to let them taste this, man. I had to let them taste this. But you know I gotta do something for you, for my people. There's a heat. <clears throat> oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. So, yeah, man. Now, in this video, we use the, uh, not only the original, we also use the heat, as you'll see. Shout out to my brother, Merck. Shout out to my brother, Merrick, Merck One Hutchinson. I got his IG, so if you want to follow him, hopefully we can get some recipes going on with that brother. Show you how to do a Louisiana style. And... You know what, just watch the video. Watch the video. <laughs> this will be real for this. Yes, sir. I'm about to get this cut and get it popping. I'm gonna do this salmon. Let me know if I'm gonna show y'all how to do it. You, you good. I'm gonna have to go wrap him up in his swaddle. Joint is huge. I'm gonna have to cut this joint in half. Just to cook it. Cause enjoy and have big, big salmon. Beautiful sockeye. Sockeye for the mother. <laughs> yeah, nice slice through skin on. That's the only way to do it. Mm -hmm. 400 degrees for about 25, 25 to 30 minutes, depending on how thick it is. Come on. That skin. Thick boy. Yeah, that skin even thick, so it's gonna get good and crispy in the cold. I love that. Mm. So, Mr. Merrick Merkman Hudson, how long you been cousin, brother? Shit, Talk man. to people. As long as I can remember. Now, as long as I can remember. Before man. people say, "Well, how do we know you can cook, brother?" Tell me where you from. Yeah, New Rose, Louisiana. Yes, sir. Right outside of Baton Rouge. From the boot, the boot stand Straight up. Straight out of it, you know it. The L and the L-O-T. Yes, sir. And that's how we do it. And then we got to wash the hands up real quick. And then we got to get it seasoned up. Yes, and then we got to do something simple. Just Himalayan pink sea salt and some fresh crushed peppercorns. That's it. And then after we bake it up, we got to throw that LB's barbecue sauce on it. About halfway through, let that sizzle on, get thick, get good and juicy. Yes, some Pink Himalaya sea salt, Bam, fresh crack. It's the only way to go. Like I say, don't need too much, this is salmon. You don't want to overpower it, but you got to put enough salt on it. Peppercorn medley, not just peppercorn, but yes. peppercorn medley, okay. We're going all the way. If we're going to do it, we're going to do it right, man. We're going to do it right. Point blank. And that's really all you need. Because you don't need too much. That barbecue sauce, I 
I did this the first time and I was I was playing. I told my wife when she brought it home, I'm like, I'll just put this on that salmon. Then I stopped and thought, yeah, I'm gonna put this on that salmon. Mm -hmm. And it came out delicious. Delicious. And LB's his his uh all his IG, his all his everything is, it is. is in the description below. I've been using it so uh yeah. <laughs> it's good. I mean, and shout out to your brother for going ahead and throwing me a bottle. Uh, we, this is going to be a two-part series. So we got my brother from New Roads, Louisiana, doing his thing. And do, so we're doing a Louisiana style, doing his thing. Then we're going to have Texas-style smoked burgers. So you're going to get two different takes on this because this barbecue sauce is off the mother chain. Delicious. Delicious, delicious, delicious. Going in. Going in. Get that heat going in. Yeah. And we'll check back in Set when we put the timer. sauce on there. We're gonna check back in. He gonna do he gonna do the timer thing. Set. Let that. That's it. That's what we're doing. Catch you guys later on. Alright. Alright, family at the halfway mark. You know what time it is? Now it's time to sauce it up. Time to sauce it up. Where we at? Got our base to So here we go. I'm gonna do it. Got the LBs. Sauce. Sauce. Actually, I'm gonna do half with this one, and he has a spicy. I'm gonna do Ooh. had the other half with the spicy sauce. You hadn't had that spicy, had you? I think you let me taste it. I think you let me taste it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Look at that, y'all. Look at that. That looks so good. Yeah. Y'all, oh, this man. sauce, look, let me, no cap. This sauce is so good, I almost drunk it out the bottle. <laughs> it's good. He it, it ain't lying. It is, it's good. It's he, delicious. So that, that, that part you heard me only unboxing, he hadn't heard but only unboxing, where I took the seal off and I literally. Licked all the sauce off the seal. Mm -hmm. There's no cap. There's no cap. This is how good the sauce is. We got to get this sauce in every home in America. Everybody needs this sauce. Yeah, they do. You know what I'm saying? It's from he put brother. the ingredients on the side, but look. He put the ingredients on the side, but it ain't. You can see all the ingredients in the world you want to. That don't mean nothing. If you don't put it together right. If you don't put it together Where right. Where is that? It's, on the, it's just in our cursive right here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. You see all the ingredients? What's all it? because you see the ingredients don't I mean you know how to blend it the nope. way you do. That blend is something serious. And I need that sauce in my eye. Right. Need it in see, my this life. that spicy. Right there. The blazing. That sweet and spicy blazing. Y'all see that blazing on there? See, that's original. Original. Oh, see, this one thicker than the. Okay. Remember, I was telling you my yeah. only. uh. Thick. Thing was the thickness. See, this one thicker than the original. Thick. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Thick and spicy. Uh -huh, I'm talking about. You see how they do a nice, even coat on the entire filet. Yes, sir. Got to. They gotta have it all coated. Brother from right. LB's, man. Look, I need to get some of that blazing, man. You gotta check your IG, brother. People want some of this sauce, man. I'm trying to get bottle yeah. on bottle on bottle. Bottles on bottles on bottles on bottles. We, this is the type of bottles we like to pop. Yeah, barbecue bottles. Barbecue bottles. And it's in the summertime? Yeah. Bro, oh, yeah. That's the time. It's grilling season. Grilling season for show, for show. Oh, man. If I had to. I lived in, when I get my house and get my grill, oh, this would have been even better on the grill. Oh, bro, who, who you telling, bro? That smoke, Alaskan sock I smoked? Yes. You know what I'm saying? Are you a hickory? Right. Are you a, I'm a hickory? Are you a hickory man or you a mesquite man? Actually, pecan. Pecan. That's what we see. That grow wild back home, and that's what we use. Pecan. I like there's, pecan, but there's pecan doesn't... trees. There's pecan trees all over my mama yard. My grandpa used to just have us go pick the sticks out the, that them fell off the trees that are dry. You throw them right on there. See, I love that pecan. I, I, I like pecan, but it don't seem to give me as much smoky flavor as like a hickory. It, it, it's not quite as smoky as, as the hickory and the mesquite. 
but I, I like the flavor better. Nah, it do hickory and mesquite. Let me, do. Let me get a picture real quick. Let me get that picture real quick. Picture you got. All right, and we going back in for, let's say I did 15 minutes. Let's go back in for another 10, and we'll check it after that. And while that's going, we'll uh, hook up the asparagus. Because that won't take long. That should take only about 10 minutes, uh, if that. Because asparagus, most people overcook it. You don't want to overcook it. You want it tender, crisp. Point blank. I, I made my asparagus scoopy. He's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a it's a it's a it's a process. But I like the flavor of spigger, a spigger, a spigger. A spigger is good. If you get you some a spigger. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, asparagus is good. Asparagus is good. It's freaking awesome. It's delicious. Especially when I mean, it's done right. And when it's done right. And we gonna do it right. And so, as for a side for the salmon for the Alaskan sockeye. We got asparagus. Now this is fresh asparagus. This isn't the steam stuff that you steam in the bag. This is the good stuff. You see how thick it is? I do like I want to be You know what I'm saying? So yes. bro, what you finna do with the asparagus right now? Basically I'm about to trim it. And the simple thing with trimming the asparagus is you need to cut off about probably inch, inch and a half depending. You see how white that is down okay. there and it starts getting green up there. This the bottom part of the asparagus where it was uh, connected to the stalk. It's uh, it, it's you can eat it, but it is it, it doesn't get tender like you want it, and it's a bit more bitter than going up the stalk into the uh, into the leaf. Okay, so and y'all didn't see it, but he did rinse these off. You know what I'm saying? That's right, we lost that one. That you wrong. just lost one anyway, uh, <laughs> and you want to cut it on a diagonal. On the diagonal? Yes. On the diagonal? I, I didn't know nothing about that. Mm -hmm. game. Nah, you game. cut it on the diagonal. That way, if you you give it more surface area to cook, and when it, when we put it in the butter and the olive oil, as I'm going to do, if you cut it just straight, you get less surface area. So the it don't soak up as much flavor down into the stock. You give it more surface area to soak up oh, more flavor. Oh, so you more cut more surface area, the as more flavor is gonna suck up in the uh, 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 oh, into the asparagus. Yeah. Okay, so put put me on game. I don't know nothing about it. Yes, um, yes, yes. I, I, I eat asparagus like crazy, but I really don't cook it that often. Um, that's why now that I know. But once you know, you know. Yep. All right. Simple as that. That's Simple what I'm that. saying, man. Look, if you ain't got a homie or homegirl that's from Louisiana that is solid, get you one. <laughs> you gotta get you one. They gonna put you on game, but you can't just be you can't be no fuck boy because they gonna let you know about yourself. Yes, sir. All, right? all day long. I'm gonna have to bleep out these curse words, but that's all right. All right. It's all right. We're gonna we're gonna do right. Get it. get it right. Yo, okay. I I did not know that. Honestly, I didn't know that. What? That makes on sense. The, on the back, on the, on yeah, the angle. Yeah. 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 I didn't know that. That makes sense though. It makes absolute sense. Yep. So yeah. See. I'll show you here. The difference between the surface area. Facts. Let's get. I'm gonna get that. It's on my picture. I'm gonna get the steel. Yeah. Oh, got it. Okay. Yep. Difference in the surface area versus on the uh, angle versus flat. It's just that simple. That's what's up. I'll kick it off with a little bit of butter. We're gonna go healthy with it, but we ain't gonna go overly healthy with it. Mm -hmm. A little bit of butter, and we're gonna be doing some mixing of flavors. Okay, okay. So what flavors are we talking about doing? This is bacon grease. Okay, we got bacon grease. And not AKA, putting a whole lot. AKA bacon fat. Not putting a whole lot, just to give it a little flavor. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Now some of y'all probably take the whole dang container and put in there. <laughs> we ain't doing that. Then a little olive oil. Just to bring the smoke and temp up a little bit. Okay, okay. Because he's right, because with butter, if you're not careful, you can burn the butter. Yep, just to bring the smoke and temp up a little bit. Wow, that's I can smell the bacon, the bacon fat aroma.
Okay, okay. You already know what it is. Look at that. Look at that. You see that, Tony? You know it? You know it. Now, would you suggest anybody try to do this with frozen asparagus? Uh, I don't do well with frozen. Uh, with with some vegetables, I do frozen. Some I prefer to do fresh. You can do it with frozen. You just know that you're gonna have a lot of water left in it, and you got to cook that out. So it means you got to cook it longer. So that means it's gonna wilt more than I preferably like it. I like my like I say tender crisp. I don't like it limp. You know. Okay. So this soy sauce. I can already tell, I can I can smell the aromatics already. You can smell the asparagus. Garlic jalapeno. Garlic jalapeno. Powder, not salt. Powder, okay. Not the salt, not the powder, okay. Yeah. But you don't want it overly salty, all right? Nope. It's, it's, it's soy sauce. Safe. Yep, soy sauce got it. Soy sauce got a little salt in it. <laughs> Whew. Season it getting up in my nose. And I'm just a couple of turns of this. Okay. Nothing major. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Yeah. 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 And this should take a few minutes. Just a few minutes to get right. So roughly between what, seven to ten minutes? Yeah, between that. And like I said, medium, medium heat, not, not high heat, but medium. Yep. See, so medium heat. All right. So if you want to know why your spray just don't come out right, you probably need to cook it on too low heat or too high heat. Yep. Or too long. Yep. That smells good. Actually, with everything blended together, I can smell it. No cap. It smells good. The, the, the marriage, of, the seasonings and the marriage of the, I don't know about the flavors just yet. We're going to, of course, we're going to taste it, but. The marriage of the aromas are wonderful. That's what it's, it's about. Wonderful. If the nose like it, then the mouth gonna like it. That's what's up. And that's just that. They tie together. You can't separate one from the other. Okay. If it smell good, it's gonna taste good. That's, that's what's up. It's just that. Those are facts because when you want some good barbecue, the first thing you do is look for that what? Smell. smell. If you can't smell it, you like, eh. Eh. Yep. Do we gotta get barbecue here? Okay. Time is up. Time is up. Time to check it. A little rarer than I like it. So I'm gonna leave it in for a few more minutes. Just, just a few. few more minutes. Just a few. And a few. Don't forget about it. No. No more than five. No more than five. All right. We give y'all the game. All right. And that's a big piece of salmon. Me. That's so. Huge. And I've cooked it for no longer than thirty minutes. Point blank. That's a good game. Yummy. Yeah, Asparagus is done. When you get that bright green, that bright bright green color. Mm -hmm. That's when you know it's done. It is perfect tender crisp at that point. So off the heat it goes. Now, ain't no excuse. This is an electric oven. It's, you know, he, I know he would rather have a gas range. Much rather. But he, you can do it with an electric oven. Ain't no excuse. I don't know how to do it. Nah. Nope. Nope. None of that. He ain't trying to hear none of that. That's right. Taste a piece. Okay, Real one that done. That flavor is on point. Alright, how does that? Hold on. I, I just picked one up. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Ah, Hold on, y'all. Don't laugh at me now. Mm -hmm. 
You know that crunch? It's good now. And, and I already know that as it settles down, it's going to absorb more of the flavor and the fat and stuff. It's going to be better. Yeah. Straight like that. Simple. Simple and easy. It don't take much. And this took 30 minutes to cook a complete. That's a complete, you pretty much got a complete meal. You can do another side with it if you want. And what, prep time, what, another five minutes or so? Tops. Which, what you do is you do your salmon first, get that going, and while the salmon's going, then you do your asparagus. Then, by the time you finish your asparagus, you should have like five to 10 minutes left on your oven timer. And all you gotta do is what, organize it, start, start finishing, and you should be good to go. We'll be ready to plate here in just a sec. You heard what he said, ready to plate. Plate. Ready to plate. What y'all know about that? Alright folks, we are done. She is done. She is completely done. Oh, she smells good. Spicy. Instead of blazing, that's the regular. We're gonna get a taste of both and see which one we like the best. It's all gonna be good. It's all gonna be good. <laughs> no cap. There it is on the plates. Now look, and notice that he only cooked as much as he needs to cook for now. Just don't take that long. There's no sense to yeah, ain't no excuses, people. It's none. No key, it's gonna be I'm a, I might call this get your grub on home edition. Man. Bag on it. Cooking with Chef Merc one. Now, where'd you get your filet? Got it from Sam's. You got it from Sam's. Sam's Club. Sam's Club. So, you, can, you ain't no excuse. You can get you a nice filet. Sam's Club. 20, right, right at 25 bucks. You're going to have to cut it up. You'll be all right. You're not going to die. It's flaky. It's falling apart. It's so flaky. Don't tell me. Spicy joint. Nah, that was the that oh, first spicy. spicy. Oh, this yeah. is spicy. Okay, so this is this the regular. This the regular. Oh yeah, this one's gonna go down. Basement. Basement. Uh, just, just about to get. This look how flaky this is, man. Look, he's struggling. Yeah, I'm struggling hard. Struggling with the flake. Yeah. That's good though. Look at the flavor. Now, some of you might not like to cook, like you cook this much. The justice is, you know, as needed. Right. right. I like mine pretty much well done. Not quite well done, but all probably I would say ninety percent well done. All right. If you don't like that, don't when you come to my comments. I, y'all, you better ask somebody. You can come to my comments with the mess you want to. Just adjust. Just adjust. Come That's my comments you do, so. Adjust for your your, your palate. All yeah. right. You can come in the comments. You ain't gonna like the response though. It's that time. That's the time. It's that time. You gotta set the camera. All right. And so this is the moment of truth. We got spicy and we got regular. So we're gonna take a bite. That's your spicy. Spicy on. Okay. You see the spicy? Let me let me adjust y'all a little bit. You more near the plates. That's deliciousness. So I'm gonna have the regular. We're gonna have the regular first. We're gonna get this regular. We're gonna have the spicy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it works. If you don't think it'll work on them, 
that works. And the flavors in that asparagus with that soy sauce, compliment that barbecue sauce. Really good. You see how the asparagus got a little bit more tender as it's set, because it's gonna keep cooking. And it's perfect. Tender crisp. I cut it off a little early because I know that heat from the pan gonna keep going. Tip. Yeah. Yeah, this is dope. But did you expect anything less? One, the L L O T, Louisiana, Oklahoma, Texas. Y'all know what it is. So the spicy, the flavor from the spicy lets out a little different than the regular. Mm -hmm. It's it's a it's a nice little kick in the back. You don't yeah. hit it. Don't it don't come up front. Yeah, it don't hit, yeah. up, front. It don't hit up front. It catch the back of the palate. Yeah. Yeah, this, this barbecue sauce is really what it is, man. LB's. Those IG below. Flood that brother. DMs. And order some of the yeah. barbecue sauce. You would not be disappointed. At all. At all. And I was playing with my wife the first time I said I was going to put it on that sandwich. But it sets it off. So if it do this with salmon, imagine with something with some smoke on it going to get like... Oh, best believe that's coming next. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, peace. And I say, I say, we'll see the game.